reasons is the Belfast Trust's overall purpose is to, um, is to improve health and wellbeing and reduce inequalities. So, you know, we were aware of the link between equality, promoting good relations and reducing inequalities. So that was very important to us. Um, also, the Trust uh, provides a service to 340,000 people and we employed 22,000 staff. So we felt it was very important as you know, one of the largest employers in Northern Ireland to take that lead and uh, you know, promote good relations, ensure that our staff and our service users were aware that we were taking that explicit commitment to promote good relations and very much link that to reducing inequalities. The core elements of the Belfast Trust Good Relations Strategy are communicating our commitment to promoting good relations, um, embracing diversity to ensure access to services, and embedding um, good relations in all our corporate functions, and um, promoting good relations through employment, and promoting good relations through partnership working. The Trust ensures now that uh, good relations is embedded in local and corporate management plans throughout the Trust. There was quite a number of challenges in um, developing and implementing a good relations strategy. For the Belfast Trust, it was unprecedented. No other trust had done this before. We were the first trust to develop a good relations strategy. Um, we also knew that we were going to have to address very sensitive areas, especially in the Northern Ireland context and working with 22,000 staff and 340,000 service users, we were aware that it wasn't going to be an easy process. And also, we, at the same time, we wanted to make sure that the strategy was meaningful and that there was tangible outcomes. Probably one of the main things, one of the main areas would be we now have mandatory equality, good relations and human rights training for all staff. Um, so all staff are now aware of what good relations means because a lot of staff may not be aware of that. So that's made clear to them what it means, how it impacts on them and how their, their attitudes can impact on good relations. And it also makes staff aware of all the initiatives that we also have within the Trust to promote good relations. The first point would be partnership working. It's absolutely pivotal that you work with the partnerships and all the stakeholders to ensure that your strategy is meaningful, reflects the needs of the community, community you serve and your staff. I can't emphasise enough the role of ensuring that your stakeholders, your staff, your service users are aware of your good relations strategy and the work that you do in that area and that's where our Good Relations Bulletin has played a very important role.